is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is Saturday, so it is May I Scrap Lift You, and um, I think this is my final layout um, for the 30 days of May I Scrap Lift You, so you know, I made it not even to the end of June, so I feel like that's fair, like... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all of the grace um, that has been provided. So um, the 31st was for uh, Monique's uh, 700 subscriber and 40th birthday party hop. So she is handmade happy by Monique. Um, and she has some amazing layouts. So um, we did the hop and included it for most people in the May I Scrap Lift You. And I actually had this done. I'm pretty sure this is in the shed. Um, but the taking of the pictures and editing just, just didn't get done. So um, I'm doing my voiceover and we are going to celebrate her again today. So I am using Vicki Booten. It looks like she used some Vicki Booten as well. So I took a Vicki Booten stencil um, and I put some cheapy texture paste through it. Uh, actually, I had to throw it away after this particular bit because um, it was clogged. And so I popped the top off and I couldn't get it to go back on. <laughs> So I did white on white stenciling just like she has done. And then I tore my paper um, in the same manner. I just opposite direction. And I don't really have a rhyme or reason for that. Um, but that's that's just I, I don't know. I don't know why I did it in the opposite direction. I I don't know. Um, sometimes you just do things, I think partially is because I look at what I'm scrap lifting, get it started, and then refer back to it, um, most of the time. It's pretty rare that, that I don't have it pulled up on my computer or something to, to kind of, you know, look at it a little bit. So I did this fun, like, watercolory paper. And the reason that I did that was because the photo that I am using is actually of my niece and my daughter, and they are uh, coloring eggs. So I decided to just do a strip of some extra color. Um, through the middle and then I am going to map my photo on this scrap piece of kind of orangey paper and I'm just gonna mat it um, once with pattern paper with a very thin border and then to give it a little more softness I am going to put some tissue paper behind it and then I do some other layers. I think these are cards. Yeah. Oh, that little piece needs to be stuck down. Needs a little extra glue. So in this particular paper pad from Vicki Booten, I had some fussy cut florals. So I am going to um, scatter those about because you can see that she has quite a bit of florals in hers. Now she has her photo down at the bottom. I'm going to put mine in the center. Um, and then these are those fussy cut florals and I'm going to kind of scatter them on the top and bottom of this particular layout. I did pop up my photo on some fun foam so when I stuck those two florals in they gave it a little bit of a uh, little added dimension. Um, and I just kind of let it be. They just kind of float there. I didn't put any foam under it as well. Um, so, so now I'm just going to go through all of the ephemera. Most of my Vicky Booten ephemera is kind of all together. And 
I knew that I wanted to use this You Color My World for my title. And I'm gonna end up putting my title on the top instead of the bottom, like in the sketch. And then um, I'm just gonna play with embellishments. So I love the, the like, what is that, like a paint roller? Um, but I couldn't seem to get that to work very well. I like that piece that says you and me, but I am not feeling the bright green actually. And then I thought I would bring in some of these circles because they're dying eggs, which are kind of circular, not, not completely. Um, and I'm looking at that you are the artist of your own life, which I thought was super cute. So I thought, okay, well, maybe that needs to go over there where the you and me is. And I'm going to end up taking it away. There is a journaling spot underneath there that I have put that has that same paint roller. Um, and then I have that sticker over off to the right hand side. Now that sticker says coloring eggs and has three different eggs on it, which is like the last piece of a sticker sheet that um, I had used last month. But the colors of the eggs are not right. So they're not gonna make it, but the saying will make it on. So that's good. Now I decided to add a couple of these strips down at the bottom, as well as, um, I guess they're like tabs. Yeah, so I have two tabs that I put on the photo. I find another circle die cut that says create. So I feel like that is definitely going to give some love there to what they're doing. And then, um, what else? I have a lot of sticker sheets. I have a lot of little bits and pieces. Um, and so it takes a lot to go through them. So I do have a couple of cards. I'm going to pop in two of them. Um, this one on top of the photo that says sweet moments and then that one on the bottom that's just blue. It's just blue. That little tab I put over there that says love and I am just going with the more is more. Like, like definitely, definitely more is more. So, um, just to kind of highlight while I'm flipping through everything. Um, so this is May I Scrap Lift You. So we do all the month of May, which I am just finishing up with. I know it's June. But then we keep it going on Saturdays. And um, it is Moira and Karina, Sandy, Alex, Adam. And then Rebecca had so much fun, she said, during May I Scrap Lift You, that I said, hey, why don't you continue on Saturday? So she has joined our little squad as well. Um, so everybody who has had a chance to play along today, I will have their links down below. Um, they, they will be direct links to their video if I have them. So make sure that you check that out. And then of course I will have a link to Monique's channel so that you can give her some extra love, wish her a happy belated birthday, um, and congratulations to all of her subbies. So I did notice at the end that she had a little watercoloring kind of underneath. Um, so I am going to take some shimmers in bubblegum pink, I think it's called, um, and just put it down along that edge to give it a little bit more color. So here are some close-ups. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Oh, look, that circle fell. I don't even know where that circle is anymore. That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> okay, that's going to do it. So remember to wear your crown, and we'll see you next Saturday for another May I Scrap Lift You.